All right, you heard it there from our time and Spencer Elmer. She's a 10, but, but the time has come. The young superstar in the building, Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald. What are you saying, my brother? Jeez, come on, my brother. Big love, man. I appreciate you. What are you saying? How are you feeling today on this Tuesday evening? Bro, I feel good, man. I had some luck this morning. You know what I mean? Bird pooped on my jacket, bro. So, should be a should be a good day. That was luck. That was, that was meant to be luck. If it's not luck, I'm having a terrible afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> what a mad way to start the day. It can, it can only go up from here. Yeah, 100%, bro. It, can... it has to. It has to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming down, firstly, by the way. Nah, I, I had the love. privilege of seeing you at the 20. 23 Relentless Showcase for so yeah, Relentless yeah, Records man. you're signed to them how's the journey been so far under Relentless bro Relentless are amazing I mean I've got a, a wonderful team around me you know the, the first year or so just learning each other do you know what I mean and, and, and them seeing me perform the new kind of like songs I've been making and the new vibes I've been doing different performances they, like, they've seen another side of me do you get me learning all these different things and it's like they thought they knew me then and now they're like wow we've seen a whole new side to you now and it's just it's a blessing man like I can't I can't thank the team enough man for just you know sticking by my side and driving me bruv for real for artists who are like trying to get picked up by labels and stuff like that how did you get picked up in the first place well that's just the thing so uh, there's a video that went viral of me two years ago um, I was singing a Neo song in a car park in Halfords yeah yeah uh, this was before <laughs> this was before all the tattoos and that and it went mad viral um, and I started working with a couple of artists the first year was like really dry and I was just I was in the studios like yeah. trying to make songs grinding also, big shout out to Vix Mix for letting me come down and record for free, man. They were, they were doing madnesses for me. You man. need to yeah. step up at the beginning. Yeah, you know what I mean? Someone for to just real, real bro. For real, that's my peoples up there, man. But yeah, just in and out studios, in and out studios, trying to make, like, get songs done, make them, and have something to show. And then towards the end of, I'd say maybe August, the year before last, um, I had a session that was organized with someone else I used to work with, uh, with Naughty Boy. Okay. And Shah, big up your damn self, Shah. Um, he, just me and him just click like house on fire, just yeah. vibes all the way. And um, I have a producer down in uh, South End who I'm with at the moment, um, big up I Don't Sleep. Um, and she uh, made this song called The Devil. And we wrote it together and got it up. Naughty showed it to the label. And then, bada boom. You know what I mean? It was just a person they were like, Raw, we need to work with this kid. So we just, you know what I mean? Done some bits and Because you're, obvi- you're obviously very talented. Like I said, I, 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 it was a privilege seeing you singing live. And we said on the night, me and my boy Lewis, who was also called Lewis at the time, came over and said hello to you. Yeah. you got a sensational voice, but it's funny sometimes in the industry that they needed like a big time producer like Naughty Boy to come through and mm. be like, this is the real deal sort of thing. Do you know what it is? In, in Naughty's, in Naughty's said, I feel like a lot of labels out there today, um, whether like, because I know that they're looking for talent I see it all the time like I know like smaller labels and millennials or smaller labels like just their own labels sort of thing that are looking for artists and they're like do you know what it is it's we're, we're looking to find something we can work with like and I feel like most of the time with artists that like want to get signed and stuff you've got to have a package of um, music that you really like um, like and I say with anything I don't make music that I wouldn't listen to do you know what yeah. I mean so if you've got a little catalogue of like maybe 10 songs or 5 songs that you can just ship about it's something that you can push it off because not every artist is going to get signed because a lot of people do it on their own yeah. but like with labels uh, some of the times honestly like for me it was a luck of the draw and I'm blessed that they chose me do you know what I mean and I'm, I'm always humbled by it by today you know? so it sounds like it's been a very good start to the journey ah mate oh. <laughs> it's been really <laughs> Really, 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 really good, man. Amazing. Okay. I'm so grateful. Okay, I like that. And I mentioned that you had a sensational voice. Yeah, Obviously, we saw the live well. performance. And I got to see that voice live at this showcase where you performed a couple of songs, but you had Love Me yeah. with your friend Busy. Yes. And yes, I remember yes. you mentioned that he sadly couldn't be there. Mm-hmm. Tell, tell the people then why he couldn't be there. Because I remember it was quite like, we were listening in the crowd. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I felt the emotion. Yeah, well, Busy's my brother. The maddest thing about when I first met Busy was um, I'd been following him on TikTok for ages and he had a massive following at the time. He had about what? 250,000 followers okay. and I was at like 89,000 uh, and I would be like you know just, on just 89,000 yeah um, just, so, yeah, just, so, yeah, just the 89 <laughs> you know it's, so, it's nice for some so <laughs> <laughs> so I was um, obviously he, I did a video and it, and it popped up a little bit like it done like a couple hundred thousand views and he jumped on it and like messaged me and was like bro like you're amazing we need to work and the maddest thing is at the time when I seen that comment I was like no nah, this can't be him I looked on it it was him I was like oh crap messaged him back sent him my number he FaceTimed me three minutes later and the maddest thing is I used to live in Southall 
this brother lived five minutes away from my yard. We were oh, wow. like that close. So the next morning, okay, got him to my yard. We went to the studio and made love me, bruv. Literally, just like that. Simple as that. Yeah, but he, he couldn't make it to the performance because obviously he's been ill at the moment. He's been losing a lot of weight. I'm so, so proud of him, man. Um, but he's been losing a lot of weight and I don't want to divulge his information, but it, a lot of it's just to do with his body changing and adjusting to this new size that he's at. And, okay. You know what I mean? He, he just he was too weak and he was in, in and out of hospital, so he just couldn't make it down. Is so I there, I mean, is is it a sort of illness where he's going to get better? Well, that's this is the thing. I, he's doing amazing. I can't, like, he, he I think he's got to go through a couple of treatments to just, you know, keep himself up and just, there's a there's a couple of, um, like, cycles of, I think, being out of the hospital that he's got to go to just to get it sorted. But um, to this, I, I, I haven't asked him. I still I still feel uncomfortable asking him. I, I do wish him the best, man, honestly. I don't want to, that's the thing. I don't want to pry too much myself. But yeah, I, yeah. I, listen, my dream, the reason why I'm asking these questions mm. is we want to see you guys perform this together live. 100. Well, that's just the thing. Like, I said that to the label before. I was like, oh, it's not going to be the same about Busy because I had to record the music video without him as well because he was in hospital as well so um yeah I, I'm I listen I've got all the love in the world for that brother he knows it man and, I, and I'm, I'm there for him whenever he needs me I just right now the only thing I can think about is getting him better and getting him to where he needs to be because I don't want to have to keep going and seeing him in hospital looking the way he is I want to see him up on the stage with me I hear that man amen amen Real. fair play and I also wanted to add he would be very proud of what you're doing right now and also I think a lot of people will be proud because it's not every artist who sounds very similar live mm -hmm. to how they sound in the studio do you get that compliment a lot? Yeah, a lot of pe a lot of people say that. Well, to believe it or not, a lot of people say I don't sound anything like the way I'm talking now. I don't sound anything like how I sing. Anything at all. I would agree. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't sound anything like it. They'll be like, rah, he sounds like that. And then I'll just sing it. They'll be like, oh, God damn. That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> but, but then it's the element of surprise. We like that. There you go. People like that. Yeah, Think indeed. about who's someone who does that. Adele is the perfect yeah. example. Adele, yeah. I, I saw Adele at Glastonbury in 2016. And obviously she's sitting there. She could almost be doing stand-up. Yeah, man. And then suddenly, she just flips into singing voice. <laughs> yeah, man. She's crazy. So, listen. Let's not play about with that. That's a I, superpower. Listen, I love her, though, man. I love her. That's she what I like it. to hear. That's what I like to hear. We're going to play a track for you here. Okay. It's not your track. Don't get too excited. Okay. Because <laughs> you're going to be doing Triple Threat later. This one here is just one of my favorites. Ski Fall. It's called Fan Without Blood. Do you like it? You know it? I uh, don't think I know. I'm not good with names of songs, bro. I'm then that's lie. fine. I'm just happy to put you on. And after this track, we're going to keep on chatting. All right, bro? Say less, brother. Big uh, love. Here we go. Ski Fall, Fan Without Blood. You're listening to the Beat London's Drive Time Show powered by Hot Boss. This is Lucy Yakuza, and I just met Karim, and he's amazing. And you should listen to his radio, the Beat London, you know, because that's what good people do. If you're a good person, keep listening. You heard it there. I know you're good people to be London listeners. We are back with Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba. What are you saying, my brother? You good? I'm, a bl I'm blessed, bro. Why am, I, why am I doing my own sound effects when we... <laughs> we have... We ha we ha We've got them there. We've got them there. I don't know why I'm going. Absolutely no need for that. I do that all the time. We were talking about your sensational singing. Yes. But as you tell me now, you're quite early on in your career. Yeah, very early. What would, now this is us dreaming and looking into the future, what would a successful career look like to you, say, 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line? Well, I don't want to veer off the question because I'm a talker. But um, no, my, no, please, please, yeah, my, my, like, um, my dream, like my whole mantra, um, of music especially since like it, it helped me out a lot and obviously one of my idols one of the biggest artists in the world if I ever get the chance to work with him ooh, oh my god I can't even imagine in my head is Post Malone yeah, yeah. and uh, a lot of people compare me look wise to him because I've got loads of tattoos on my face um, but the, the kind of the, the spirit and the place that his music took me when I was in school yeah. I know the impact music can really have on people so I want to be able to be 10 years down the line in a position where I'm setting up foundations for people with mental health I'm running charities for um, people with, with any sort of mental health or disabilities people that struggle like like parents on their own or stuff like that um, people like like older people that struggle this is one of the main ones for me as well older people that struggle like or like they're widowed or they're on their own and they struggle they're just alone all the time because I've seen it I don't know what happens when I'm on my own I get in my head, you know what I mean? So there's things out there that I feel like need more work and I want to be a part of that. And 
my main mantra is I want to stand on a stage with 100,000 people and have them sing back my song you know what I mean so I don't feel like I'm alone anymore they feel the lyrics you know what I mean yeah. they feel what I'm saying so that's that's where I'm trying to be man I want to help the world for real they're very very honourable intentions my man yeah. very honourable intentions me. I hope you achieve them all and I could even, you. even seen you live so a couple of weeks ago at this Relentless show we got that feeling from you you, no. you were even you, you were happy with 10 people singing back yeah, your track yeah yeah man I mean think about it think about it. as a human you're sitting there if you tell a joke to one individual and they laugh yeah. it gives you a nice it gives feeling you good. You feel if you good, sing yeah, something man. and someone's like oh yeah that's nice so you go out on a night out and like, oh, yeah, you're looking man. good <laughs> now imagine 100,000 people <laughs> doing something in unison so I do hear this dream and you know what Mo, I think you're going to achieve it keep working Thank hard you. keep your head down because you certainly got the voice for it Big luck, you, you got the look we got no, we're, we're suave. Sexy. Yeah, bit come of, on, bro. Bit of suave. And <laughs> no, speak, well. speaking of the look, yeah. so you broke onto the scene as a fresh faced teenager. I did. I and did. you have to talk to me about the tattoos because I remember seeing the videos when you were kind of breaking onto the internet, mm -hmm. tattoo free. Mm -hmm. And in, in an extremely short space of time. Six months. Yeah, yeah. You, you are literally. <laughs> You've unloaded the clip. Yeah, man. And you're covered in tats. Very yeah, cool yeah. tats, by the way. One of them in Arabic above yeah. your left eyebrow. Yeah. What inspired you? Talk to me. Well, do you know what it is, right? I am a massive fan of history. I'm a massive fan of, like... I'm a nerd, basically. I love, like, all this, like... Demons, dragons, you know, like like pirates and stuff. I've loved it ever since I was a kid, which is why like I got Assassin's Creed tattoos and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, and when I was younger, I used to watch a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean. Used to play a lot of video games. Banging and there films, was, to be honest. Yeah, there was like Jack Sparrow, and then there's like Edward Kenway from Assassin's Creed. He's just covered in tattoos, right? Now, if I had it my way, and the label would let me do it, because they're not letting me get any more face tattoos, um, my whole face would probably be a skeleton or something. <laughs> crazy bro do you know what I mean that's where I was trying to go with it um, but nah I'm gonna um, I'm gonna yeah my, my, my tattoo ideas literally just came from like video games I've always wanted them I just feel like it adds a it adds a sense of like like character to my character like it's almost like I don't have to tell you um, I like I've got stuff to talk about you can just look at me and be like whoa what story does that tell us? Keep mystery, do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I just think it looks so cool, bruv, and it, it makes me feel good, do you know what I mean? Looking at all my tats, I take it off like, yeah, I remember when I got that done, that was because of then, that was because of then, that means that, and it's just like, it's like all this shit, stuff uh, I've been ap through. Apologies. Apologies, apologies my bad, yeah. Apologies to the swear word, we are regulated by yeah. Ofcom, but continue. <laughs> all the, um, all the um, like, tattoos and the different ideas I've got, it's like talking about my, my story and my pain and the stuff I've been through. Again, like my lyrics from my music, um, but I feel like this is a more physical representation because when I look at it, it's like that's what happened then, and I can just it gives me inspiration, bro. Memories, honestly. yeah, literally, Memories, literally, bro. literally. Memories. It's, it's, oh. Not to not to sound corny, but uh, actually, <laughs> someone messaged me this the other day. All you're gonna have left, they were trying to convince me to go on holiday with them. <laughs> and they were like, all you're gonna have left when you're older is memories. Yeah, you so are. You're, looking, you're even looking on your body and you're remembering certain things. Indeed. So some stuff right now. If you could look into the camera immediately, just continue to look. So I'm gonna ask you about a few of them. Okay. You can look back at me now, just so they could see. Oh, so, okay, we're not doing that. So we've got so we've got I read Arabic. Yep. We've got Lewis Fitzgerald and I perceive intelligently made the sword, the L. Yep. What made you get Arabic? So um my uh, my older brother's Muslim. Yeah. Um and I feel like when I got it done, it was like kinda like a tribute to him. You okay. know what I mean? He's my older brother. But the main reason is that like, it's just cool. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the Arabic style of writing is really cool. Like I was um like like the Chinese style of writing, like the symbolistic kind of uh, style that it looks like is really cool. And I wanted to adapt it into a tattoo that I could have that was a bit different. And obviously I got it on my face, but it kind of just, um, yeah, it's just a, a cool design. Like I said, I love history. I love all like the olden, yeah, yeah. Um, old like back, back, back in history, like hieroglyphics and stuff like that. Old styles of scripture. And it just looked really cool. And I thought, yeah, why don't I get my name and get it done? Fantastic answer. Stress? Uh... God, <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying is, it's just you, uh, it's been a massive part of my life, and I feel like being as an artist, uh, you go through so much self doubt and so much um, 
you just doubt yourself so much and you go through all these different struggles and you know you, you it stress is a massive part of being successful yeah. so I feel like getting on my skin to see it is my mark to say to myself without having to go back I done did this you know? I just thought you had a bad barber and you were trying to show him where the line you are trying to show him where the line is bro this is this is where you cause me no stress yeah, Here, yeah, this is the right go. angle this is the thing last but not least there's a kid with that if you could show the camera on this side here, there's oh, the a kid yeah. holding up and what yeah. is that that's, like a napkin that's my son and he's holding a teardrop no way because um, what it was was um, I was having a lot of uh I was having a lot of problems at home um, with uh, his mother and stuff, yeah. um, and basically it, there was just there was a lot of hard times going on. And I just, um, as soon as he was born, it, it, I was always told once you've had a child, you'll never know that you truly love something as like. And it's wow, the feeling is incredible. Once I seen him and I held him, my mindset, my the way I felt about things, the way I see things. Oh. I'm gonna leave you there because we've got a few adverts but what a perfect way to encapsulate those that, those are the tattoos we'll see you after the adverts yo yo this is love at first vibe and you're locked into the bitter sweet show with my boy karim bitter big dripper magnum sipper track spinner let's get it skr, skr. All right, we are into the second half of the interview. How you doing, my brother? <laughs> that was you hard. enjoyed it. Hey, that big, was hard. Big up my brother Sean Cole from Love at First Vibe. Honestly, he might have the sexiest voice yeah. in, in the world. But speaking of sexy voices, we're about to play three tracks of yours. The okay. first one of which, in our triple threat segment here, is Closure. Take it away, so you got forty-five seconds. Yeah. So Closure is a song um, that was uh, I wrote with an art, um, a producer called Benji. Big up, hey Benji. And um, this was like two years ago before like when I first went viral and we were in the studio I wrote a second verse because he'd already had ideas laid down for it and um, the song means a lot I guess to a lot of different people it's about you know being in a relationship and having that that feeling of you know not knowing if it's going to end and not knowing if it's going to go right so I hope you enjoy for real and you just need that closure yeah and you just need that that last that last thing to just know yeah it's over I can move on listen I, I get over the relationship when I listen to it because your voice is just is yeah. floating <laughs> it, it makes us feel good this one here track number one from the man himself Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald this one closure the sensational vocals from Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald who happens to be sitting right in front of me Jeez. come on my brother you should be very proud of that track oh come on man big love big love and blessings and you have got and you should be proud not ashamed but for this one for this, <laughs> one, joke, for this one you should be ashamed because it's called ashamed yeah take indeed. it away boss yeah well this is a, this is a song about my dad um, my dad's uh, struggled with um, well, basically uh, alcoholism for a long time a long long long, long time of my life uh, and the song is like basically just talking about you know that feeling of having one of the strongest characters in your life not be there for you as much as they could be and it's like losing that you know especially as a man like that kind of father figure in your life to make you you know feel stronger and, and the song's just like talking about like I'm your son and I don't want to end up like you in a sense of I don't want to end up being in that bad place do you know what I mean so that's what the song's about so you really I mean these first two tracks you've clearly poured your heart out yeah into yeah. them both well I mean the third one as well to be yeah, honest yeah that, that, that one's more you know aimed at you know a bigger audience but these two specifically is like me laying it out speaking you know from I mean? your soul yeah I hear that my man there we go the second track of your triple threat this is Mr Lewis Fitzgerald for anyone who's just tuning in this is the Beat London 1 and 3.6 FM this one here is Ashamed that one there the second track of our triple threat Mr Lewis Fitzgerald of Ashamed yes Ooh. sir yes sir okay track number three the, the final one. one the big one the one you have been hyping up yeah, all these things talk to us so big yeah love me's love me's probably in my in my opinion the best song so far of my um release career um it's very authentic very like very um it connects with a lot of people there's been a lot of people that have contacted me about it um obviously you'll hear busy's on it as well and, and another brother from america in florida rose boy big up to rose boy i appreciate him jumping on the track um yeah the song the song's similar to the first one about a spot relationship being in that mindset where you're insecure and you don't know if that person loves you and you're, you're, you know, you're second guessing everything they're saying you're second guessing everything and it becomes too much to deal with and um, the kind of ultimate stuff I guess about the song is it's just my message to people whereas I know what you're going through I've been through it and you know just be yourself bro 
I hear that loud and clear, my brother. And you know what? This has been a very special triple friend. Come on, brother. Three solid tracks, man. Cheeks. You should be proud. This is the final one of the three. Lewis Fitzgerald featuring Busy as well. Of course, you've shouted him out a few times yeah, today. It won't hurt to do one more shout out. Big up, Busy. Big up, Busy. This one, love me. You're listening to Karim Bita on the drive time. You don't know. Keep them vibes bubbling. No, girl, me touch cast on a jama. Me make me girl see up on a corner. Heavy mistress, know them policy. EMS, if you know the device of Cranium, and right now you're locked in with drive time. Well, this is me, the man representing for Bittersweet. Karim, you play the music, everybody, so you play unique. Zaka, zaka, now, now, now. This is the beat. All right, all right. You guys have heard the man himself. <laughs> you know That's him. so hard. You have two of the hardest reggae bashman artists at now, man. That's hard. Listen, you you will be recording a very similar drop after Same the interview, so make Same sure you get you get the creative juices flowing. Gratata. I um for anyone who's just tuning in right now on yeah. the Beat London's Drive Time Show, you would have heard three fantastic tracks Boom. from the man Lewis Fitzgerald, who has been here since six p.m. and is here for the next fifteen minutes. And we've heard the fantastic tracks. Yeah. We've heard about the career. Yeah. You are Lewis Fitzgerald. The man himself. But the streets are whispering. The, well, they're whispering. The, the streets are whispering that there's an alter ego. The streets are whispering. <laughs> there's an alter ego called Toast Malone. <laughs> and this alter ego has been getting quite quite famous on social media for covering because you were talking about reggae and dancehall artists mm-hmm. for covering dancehall tracks I've got a list here yeah a lot of which I've seen obviously the big one from a couple of years ago when you were fresh race Dexter Dax's yeah. breaking news That's right. Cranium's Gal Policy Boom. Prince Swanee's Catch 22 mm-hmm. Weston's mm-hmm. Armageddon yeah. and Dexter Dapp owner as well are you yeah. going to the show March the 10th listen I even messaged him I said bro we need to perform bro <laughs> like for real we do that the whole world is going to go crazy Crazy, I promise you that. I think so as well. And then, of course, a couple of days ago, you dropped because your singles are great, mm-hmm. but you also clearly have a passion mm-hmm. in this genre as well. Yeah, man. It's all you dropped trust, recently man. coffee toast. The cover, and I yeah, thought man. in my head toast yeah. toasting in Jamaica MC yeah, toast yeah. Malone that's the thing number one yeah. what do you think of the nickname uh, it's terrible if I'm <laughs> honest I, I mean uh, no one wants to be called toast bruv but you know what I mean like it's yeah I, dude, there's loads of them there's been there's been post office Malone there's been mailbox Malone there's been coast Malone <laughs> toast Malone uh, market Malone listen there's been all the Malones you can think of Bugsy Malone Bugsy Malone Crazy. and what your favourite is in toast Malone no my favourite oh. is uh Lewis Fitzgerald that is the real the real Don Dada we know that and Boom. these covers have been sensational to be honest thank you bro where has this love of dance will come from uh, do you know what I'll be real I never used to like dance for music when I was younger um, I, do you know what it, I just feel like it was because I was young I didn't know nothing I was you know what I mean I was just learning everything I used to listen to a lot of Irish music I grew up on Irish I'm, I'm, I'm an Irish kid you know what I mean um, I grew up on Irish music grew up on a lot of the Dubliners and stuff like that and um and um, yeah I guess when I got older and I became cooler in a sense um, I started listening to different types of music and I feel like uh, dancehall like bashment whatever you want to call it it kind of just grabbed me do you know what I mean and it's like it took my breath away like every time I sing a bashment cover or I'm at a performance or whatever and I've done something bashment I just get into this different vibe <laughs> like um, like I love performing my own music but to my own music that I have apart from some of the new stuff I've made I can't jump up on the stage I can't have people coming up and dancing and mad things you, know you, like, I mean? you, so, like, the, you like the vibes that come with yeah, dance it's, a, stuff it's like amazing that. and, it's, and I've, I've had so much love from the dance hall community like on a madness like they've been incredible shout out to all of them man shout out to all my peoples in the dance hall community lot have been amazing man but honestly it's just to sh- it's just to show love I love the music I think it's such it brings such good energy to your soul it makes you want to dance it gets you up so it's all for love honestly like it's such a like such an amazing set of music man it proper touched my body and just makes me go nuts I don't doubt that one bit and I think it'll be only right on drive time seeing as it touches your soul <laughs> makes you excited we spoke earlier yes. on the phone yes I have Lewis Fitzgerald's phone number a lot, a lot of listeners will be jealous <laughs> yes a lot, of, a lot of the girls out there listen alright cool I called him I was like 
do you think it's possible you could drop a little something something on the mic? You said you might you might have something a cappella you could do. Yeah, right now. I can do something. I can do. So a I'm gonna if you're ready. I don't know if you know. I don't know if you need to warm up the vocal cords, take a little sip. I haven't bought you enough water. I need. I thought I should get the liter and a half bottle. Nah, that's alright. You got me. I got you. I went got for you. the small one. So I'm gonna turn down this instrumental here. <laughs> I'm gonna give you complete silence. Say less. Maybe one little air horn in that. <laughs> and. Lewis Fitzgerald, so this is your moment. Yeah, big up Dexter Daps, man. This is a this is a good tune. <laughs> more fight like my candid, more fight like my woman. See how them cool are dead, oh, and means I'll come no more wanted. Ma just want my fans, them, no mean I ain't I, I can. Dead, them lock me up for no reason. Just free me up, me half a tank. Them, cause well, when I serve people, me not wait a waiter. Jai my witness, one win man packing it, jai like. This in a drain, I just go about your business. Man in a jail, I sleep like fetus for a pony cat. For no reason Have to be religious See how people leave us Spoke with them to Jesus Me a fight like my candid Me a fight like my woman See how them cool are dead When means I'll come the most wanted Yo, can we get some Can we get a round of applause in the building? <laughs> that was Absolutely sensational, Love by the bro. way. And if you didn't know from the triple threat from my brother's own tracks, Closure, Ashamed, and Love Me, please go stream them up. Big please. Love, big love. You know that this guy has got the voice of all voices. And I wasn't lying earlier when I said your voice live is as good as the studio. You can vouch oh, for me here in the building you. as well for that one. That was sensational. Listen, we, we need to make this Dexter that's thing happen. I think Hell yeah. I'm telling you now, if it don't happen, it don't make sense. I'm telling you, <laughs> Dexter, my bread, I'll show me there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you March the 10th I've had it circled bro because it, yeah, listen you don't come often it's, it's at the Troxy right I think so that's yeah, the venue yeah. it's at the Troxy surely surely you're the opening artist you know it has to be it has you know to what be. I mean if I jump on it breaking news you know what I mean <laughs> crazy crazy <laughs> oh wait nah that would be very exciting I can't lie I'll tell you what sir thank you very much for doing that here on the wow, beat London's Drive Station we treat you guys you already knew that he was coming in for a full hour and you're getting this as an added bonus <laughs> as well we've got a track coming up now they've been doing a couple of shows recently I don't know if you went Western did oh, you go I to Coco them. listen I, I love them man they're amazing I'm a West London boy so obviously I've got them in my heart this one here is with Fireboy DML this is Be My Guest and then we'll be back after to ask you what's coming up next cheers we right. got Western man it's come on people. now love love Speaking of people who shut it down at live performances, Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald still in the building. We have got four minutes left of the young superstar. What are you saying, my brother? You enjoyed your interview? Oh, bro, it's been amazing. Thank you so much for bringing me on the show, brother. It means the world, and I'm, I'm proper humbled and blessed to be here. You're always welcome. You're always welcome. Thank you. For honestly, your, man, honestly. Appreciate. And I will say one thing. Mm-hmm. We're all very excited to hear a very simple question. Mm-hmm. Three words. What's coming next? Oh, oh. Short Ride is next. Short Ride is next. That's I, the name I, of a track. I released... That's that's the name of it, Short Ride. I, I released a clip of it on uh, TikTok uh, a month or two ago. It's up it's up near the millions now. Um, and it's been a high, very highly requested uh, song of mine. Um, Short Ride is next. It's coming out in February. And my birthday's in February, so... Is it? Happy birthday. That. Thank you, brother. Come on, man. So it's going to be it's gonna be lit, man. I can't wait. What genre, what construction is this track? Because you, I feel like you've got such a varied like flow and stuff um, like Love w- Me sounds different to yeah. Shame, to Closure. Um, How would you categorise it if you had to? And we don't have to. Do you know what it is? This is the thing. I've always struggled with categorising music because I'm so like, I, I'm so, I wouldn't say I'm versatile, but versatile would be the name you call it. But I'm very like open to trying new genres and just doing different stuff that you've I like. you an eclectic taste. I wouldn't say you like, you are versatile. But I yeah. think that's a byproduct of being Yeah, eclectic. yeah, exactly. There you go. And I just, I love trying out all these new different sounds that I like. So I wouldn't know where to put short ride, but all I will say is it's it's maybe like a similar to love me, but more smooth and more like oh yeah, like it's really chill out. You love it. It's such a good. The song. reason the reason I ask, brother, mm-hmm. is because obviously we play fantastic music here in the beat. Mm-hmm. So if it's suitable as fantastic music, which I know it will be, we're gonna be running it out. Hundred yeah, percent. That's yeah. all. I, that's all I'm yeah, saying. Absolutely. But then if you. If it's like a heavy metal thing, I don't know if we can run it. On nah, the nah, it's not like that. It's like a kind of a, <laughs> like a poppy indie R and B kind of vibe. It's really, really cool. Okay, man. no, that, that that fits in our that fits in our bracket yeah, very nicely, 
mate. That fits you heard me perform it at the Relentless performance. You did. It was yeah, like, oh, okay, I no, that can run. First, I oh, and then, and then you eventually everyone copied the and chorus. Then everyone and everyone copied the chorus, it. and I, I lost my heart. Yeah, I was gonna cry, man. I swear down. Okay, no, you just singing the hook there's brought it all back yeah, to me. Yeah, I was yeah, one of the people go. singing. There you go. <laughs> Come on, come on! Not as good as you, but you know, I do, I do my thing. School, school. Um, that's sensational. No, that's hey, that will be spun on the Trust drive time show. You can hear it for sure on this Love show. My so we have got one minute left. Okay. So we've already covered the f- what you're doing next. Yes. We've got a release in February. We've got a birthday in February. Are you getting lit? Are you doing anything special? I'm going to Amsterdam. Ooh. Okay. How many days? <laughs> we're getting we're getting a call up of how many days. Yeah, so that, yeah. That I you, shout out JL Stoneheads as well. That's my brother. <laughs> All right, so we got a single release. Yep. Damn, Damn. we got our first radio interview in the pocket yeah, right now. Yeah, man, I'm gassed. You're looking good. I'm everything good. sounding fresh as well. Cheers. Life's very good. I Cheers. think we're both stepping out of the studio right now. Yeah. Very happy with how our life's going. Incredible, Would you say that? Incredible, bro. As I always say, the door's always open for you, bro. Whenever you want to come back, and I know this career is gonna go mm-hmm. like this from here on in. I say like this, like this is TV this is audio it's going upwards for anyone who's listening I put my arms up and if you spare me a few seconds afterwards we're going to record a nice radio drop if you want to copy the idols cranium and man you can I just honestly while I've got the platform here I just want to say thank you to everyone and thank you for the blessings I appreciate you and uh, yeah let's let's take this journey on the road for real there you go a man who is humble and talented in equal measure Mr. Lewis Fitzgerald bro thank you so much